Okay, let's see. We got some repairs that need to be done to the school. You had any trouble with the roadblocks? No, thank God. But I Fox, Mad said you had something to show me. Jeez! Oh, Fox. It is so good to see you. So great. Thank you for trusting him. He's here, but I'm still making up my mind about him. Shaw said you had something. This is important. Someone still with the company sent me this video they shot with their smart glasses. was reported in your area. Please stay indoors and cooperate with security forces. A skeleton security alert is in effect. Just the guy you need for your wonderland. I appreciate mid-level managers who still get their hands dirty. Don't you? Get him in the truck! Mervitz! Quit your caterwauling. Won't have any of my guests crying like a virgin on prom night. Let's go! Don't you glare at me, you son of a bitch. Simple man. You promised to cooperate. And as you can see, I do not abide broken promises. My God, that's Trey Stone. He's the CEO of Sentinel, a private security firm. And you hired him? Not to do that. Miles, a government liaison. He suggested I hire Stone. Peter Miles. He's a company man behind Operation Greenstone. He sent us here. To that asshole set us up to fail. Man, I hate managers like that. You were never like that, Jace. How involved is Peter Miles? Uh, someone bombed one of the labs at Manganui. The bombing was enough to push me into making lethal drones. Miles showed up with the funding and... We created the Omega security program. And then uh, Walker came on board as a military advisor. And when you try to shut them down, they took over. We need to get you civilians off the island. And I need to get reinforcements. I've been working on a way to make that happen. Yes! <laughs> That's my homie. I, I, I found a flaw in the drone control program. I'm working on an exploit, a virus, that can take control of a single sector of drones. That would allow a ship to leave the island. Yes. But I need help. If it's enough to let troops land, I'll lend a hand. Thank you, Nomad, really. I'm setting up a workspace. Come by and I'll tell you what I need. This feels awesome. <laughs> like before, before I just felt like a big wimp. You, you know what I mean? My stomach was all acidy and I really just wanted to eat some fish tacos. But now, <laughs> I mean, this feels great. <laughs> like we're gonna kick some ass. <laughs> this feels awesome. What can you tell me about that defense system? Y you mean the drone swarm? 
You know, I've known drone swarm technology existed, but I have never seen anything like that. What exactly is a drone swarm? Thousands of brains and eyes all working together to form a, a lethal hive. I mean, they're clearly on an interconnected network. They were working together to form a perimeter around the island. They all reacted at the same time to an intrusion. War is supposed to hurt. It keeps us from doing more of it. It's not a game played by robots. This was never the purpose of our work. Someone else took our ideas and used them for evil. So how do we stop the swarm? I have no idea. Who does? If anyone would know, it would be Skell. Who sent you the video? I have no idea. If they're sending it to you, that can't be random. It must be someone you know. In all my work here, I've dealt with hundreds of people. It could be anyone. It was sent to me on a secret email account using self-erasing protocol that gets rid of any identifying information. If it's a secret email account, then who knew about it? It wasn't that secret. I mean, anyone who monitored my online activity could have found it. Look, whoever is sending it doesn't want to be found. Just leave them alone. I, I don't want to start any rumors. I've seen rumors destroy people before, and I don't want to see it again. Where can I find Skell's villa? It's in the New Argyle province. It's called Skell Estate. It's one of Skell Architecture's masterpieces. It's stunning. You can't miss it. And how come he gave you the access code? I've been there many times with Harmony. Skell loves it when she comes over. She brings some life into the place. It's just him in there, aside from the maids. I don't think he really likes it there. Then why does he stay there? Oh, he'd be happy with a bunk bed and a lab. But he's the CEO of Skelltech, one of the most profitable companies in the world. That comes with certain responsibilities, like a, a public image he has to keep up, even if he doesn't want to. If Skell has everyone on this island working on his projects, why does he need a secret lab? I... I don't know. Skell's always been secretive. I think he's very insecure. He's one of the richest men in the world. What's he have to be insecure about? I think he's afraid people will think he's a crackpot if they find out some of his more... visionary ideas. Like what? Oh, over the years, he's mentioned some real wild ideas. Cybernetics, transhumanism, immortality, perpetual motion. I can go on and on. If you could dream it, he's got ideas on how to make it work. Including killer drone swarms? I, I don't know. He might be some sort of genius, but for now, I don't trust him. Thanks for the help, Fox. I'll see you later. All right, genius. Tell me this plan of yours. I can exploit a flaw in the drone control program to take control of a sector of drones that controls the perimeter of the island. But I need help. We need to find my head engineer. We need to make sure that back door in the drone's programming stays open. And we need an advanced AI we're developing.
We have a situation, Nomad. Sentinel put up roadblocks around their area of operations. We've got friendlies stuck on the other side. All right. Keeping separated might keep your people safe. I've seen this before. You squeeze people till they're so desperate they do something stupid. Then you have every excuse to wipe them out. Yeah. The Sentinel, it's best to expect the worst. I have a feeling in my gut that this is the beginning of something that could end everything I care for. For what it's worth, I have great respect for your gut. The farmer's caught out there. They have medicine, insulin that some folks out here depend on to stay above ground. So it's not just people. We need to get supplies into. Before the radio cut, the driver, Kyle, Maria's brother, was talking about trying to run the blockade. The boy's just a farmer. I'll take care of it, Mets. You okay? You seem blue. Tell me about this AI. To take control of a sector of drones, we need this AI to hijack the drone control program. The AI is the centerpiece of our campus on Darkwood Island. The campus is built overlooking St. Patrick Lake. And do you know what kind of sentinel presence is on that island? It's bad. Lots of soldiers. Lots of surveillance. All right. So how do I get my hands on the AI? Find Christina Cromwell. When Grace Maddox, our lead computer scientist, got a little controversial, Cromwell took over the AI department. Maddox is brilliant, but Cromwell will know the AI inside and out. If we're lucky, she'll know how to get it.
surrender. Don't shoot! I'm not with Sentinel. Mad sent me. Oh, thank God. You scared the shit out of me. This guy's scaring me enough as it is. Be rational? Sounds like a fancy way to say give up. You won't be helping anyone if you're full of bullets. I'll make it through. Fellas, what's the situation? Kyle wants to run the blockade. Because apparently he's desperate for a closed casket funeral. My wife Layla needs this insulin, and she's not the only one. They'll die without it. I can get you through. You ready to go home? Man up. I gotta say, I'm glad you came along when you did. We were at the end of our rope. You just keep your head down if trouble comes, got it? You're military, right? Well, I'm trained to handle things like this, if that's what you mean. Right. But what are you doing here, on our island? Well, the original plan got shot out of the sky. Now, I'm trying to figure it all out. Not much of an answer, but you can keep your own counsel. That's fine by me. Hey, it's a little early to start insulting me, all right? Maybe you remind me of him because you both served. Hard for me to relate to that type of life, but here you are, saving my ass, saving my wife, so... That's do what needs to be done. It's getting worse. Sentinel is all over us now. Ever since Captain Coleman took over this area, I can feel a bad wind in the air, like everyone's waiting for an excuse to start shooting. Oh, for sunshine, we're back in umbrella. The way things are looking, might need to pack a goddamn huge umbrella. Damn, another one! No, you're not wrong there. It's okay! I'll handle it! People. Sentinel isn't messing around. This is worse than I thought. There's another blockade ahead? Are there supposed to be this many? Yeah, I bet you a mason jar of moonshine this is the last one. We're almost out of it. This is it, here. I could kiss you for bringing us back safe. Really not necessary. You're back? Where are you going with all that? To find you two idiots, what do you think? You were gonna go clear the roadblocks, 
on your own? I was gonna do whatever it takes. <sighs> I swear, you two are gonna put me in an early grave. Who's this tall drink of trouble? This is Nomad. He helped us get home. Thanks for getting them back. I don't know what I'd do without these boys. Or what you and your dad would do without this insulin. You thought about making the move to Air One? I've been on this land since my first breath. I don't walk so easy. I can respect that. But Mads thinks this is just the beginning. And those roadblocks, they weren't built to keep people out. They were built to keep people in. What does that mean? It means you should be prepared. For what? Prepared to decide if this homestead is worth your lives. <laughs>